So it's really important when we're leveraging a business, we want to make sure that with the introduction of new debt into a business, um, that it's affordable and it's viable. So we do some very detailed financial modeling. We typically go back three years and we go forward five years and we're building in various stress tests into that. So particularly in the economy at the moment, we've got rising interest rates, we've got double digit inflation, um, we've got rising labor costs. So it's very important that we build all of that in and present different scenarios. So typically when we do a very detailed financial model, we're looking at best case, worst case, and somewhere in the middle. And most of the time it tends to work out somewhere in the middle. And we can build in various stress tests and different factors depending on the various different scenarios. So we really do look at this in very uh, in, in quite a lot of detail um, because we want to, just from our own point of view, sanity check this, that we're not over leveraging ourselves, that this is all affordable. And typically when we get into a leveraged buyout structure, we usually only, uh, only tend to use 50% of the available cash flow. So from our perspective, what that means is let's say we get into the business and something goes wrong, whether it's in our control or not, maybe we mess it up, not that it's the intention, but maybe we mess it up, or maybe something happens in the economy, uh, maybe we head into a recession that we weren't expecting, or maybe there's a, a war that kicks off that has an impact on the business. What we want to do is make sure that we protect ourselves as much as possible. So by using only half of the profits in available uh, or available cash flow, it means that if profits halve, we still can service the debt, and it's unlikely that profits are going to halve in a pretty long established well-run um, business.